Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third video in my five days of videos that I'm posting on my channel this week. Today's video is actually 10 easy DIYs for back to school. I'm so obsessed with how every single one of them turned out, so I'm really excited to show you guys what they look like. If you haven't seen any of my back to school videos on my channel yet, then I'll leave some on the screen right here and I'll also leave a playlist down in the description below so you can go check them out. I thought I would quickly mention that I'm currently holding a giveaway on my channel, so if you do want to enter the giveaway, make sure to head over to my back to school haul and check out how you can enter. But before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys a quick question. I wanna know what time is it, where you are, wherever you're from in the world, let me know what time it is. While I'm filming this video, it's currently 12.30. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the very first super easy DIY in this video is DIY emoji binder divider. So all you need is some craft paper and you also need to print out some emojis. So I printed my emojis out onto some card and then after that, I went ahead and stuck them onto my craft paper with some glue. Now these are so cool and no one's gonna have anything similar to this. So that's why I think they're so cool. So the last step is just to go in with a hole punch, poke some holes in those bad boys and you're good to go. You've got some awesome binder dividers. Next up, we're gonna make some DIY ombre notebooks. So this is probably my favorite DIY and all you need is some notebooks and you also need some metallic spray paint. So I'm gonna be using gold and you just wanna spray the bottom half of your book. I actually ended up masking my book so it looked really clean cut, but you don't actually have to do this. I just think this turned out really cool though. On to the next DIY, we're gonna be making a chill pill jar, which is so necessary for school. So all you need is a jar. I took my favorite candy, which is Smarties. I've also got some chalkboard stickers and some chalk pens. So the DIY itself is super self-explanatory. All I did was just wrote chill pills on my chalkboard sticker and then I went ahead and put my Smarties into the jar. Now you can choose whatever kind of candy that you want but Smarties as I said are my absolute fave and this DIY is just going to be super cool for all those times where you've got heaps of homework and you need a chill pill. Moving on to a DIY donut pencil case. All you're going to need is a pencil case. I made this one by myself. I'll leave the video in a link down below so you can see how to do it and then you just need some transfer sheets and you just want to print out whatever kind of pattern you want but I went with donuts and you just want to iron it onto your pencil case. It's seriously so easy. I don't know why I've never done this before. Just make sure to read the instructions on the back of your transfer sheets because they're all different. I don't really think there's anything wrong with giving yourself a little self promo at school, especially for your Instagram account. So I made a DIY Instagram inspired binder cover and it's basically just like an Instagram feed for your binder. So you just need some craft paper, some printouts of your Instagram photos and you just wanna go ahead and start arranging them onto some craft paper. Now I also went ahead and printed out the Instagram logo and my handle as well, just, just to give myself that real promo. And then you just wanna and glue it all on and you've got an Instagram feed on the front of your binder and it's gonna be super cool. So the next DIY is a really cool way to decorate your pens. All you're going to need is some construction paper, some pens, and taking your construction paper, you just want to print out these cool patterns. I'll leave them in the links down below just in case you do want to check them out or use these ones. But basically you just want to cut out strips of this paper and wrap it around the insert of your pen, like the bit where the actual ink is, even though this is a super easy DIY. Sometimes it kind of takes a little bit of skill to try and get the paper back inside the pen. But once you do it, it's super worth it because they actually look so cool. The next DIY is a school planner and it's kind of like a fake whiteboard but you use a frame instead of a whiteboard so you're going to need a frame, you're going to need some craft paper and you're also going to need some like whiteboard markers so just take out the inserts of your frame and I ended up not having a piece of craft paper that was big enough to put in there so I like faked it and made a piece with like two pieces and then I cut out a bunch of tiny little squares of white paper and I also printed out some days of the weeks. I just went Monday to Friday just because that's when school is. Let's be real, I don't really plan out what I'm going to do on the weekend so after that I just went ahead and put that sheet of paper back into the frame and now I can take my whiteboard marker and write whatever I want to do on whatever days of the week it is and I just think it's really cool because you can rub it off and like reuse it. So this DIY is DIY notebook storage and it's for all those classes where you need random stuff and you don't really know where to put it. So all I did was took these envelopes that I got from Officeworks and I just stuck them inside the notebook with some washi tape. It's so easy and it actually looks really cool because you can jazz it up. And I was actually thinking, I did this on the inside cover of a notebook, but you could do it on the front and have it as like a kind of like decorative thing on the front of your notebook, if that makes sense. But either way, who doesn't love like school storage and stuff like that? So I think this DIY is super awesome. It wouldn't be a super easy DIY video for back to school without some washi tape pencils. So this one is super self-explanatory too. So all you need is some pencils and you just want to take some washi tape and just put that on the outside of your pencils just to jazz them up. This is a super cool DIY because then you can like identify which pencils are yours so you can tell if someone tries to steal them. 
And lastly, I've got a DIY clipboard calendar. So all you need is a clipboard. You're also going to need a piece of craft paper. And then I printed out this calendar. I'll leave it in the links down below in case you want to print this one out too. But I just cut out the calendar down to size so it fit onto the clipboard a little bit better. And then I just clipped it onto the clipboard with the craft paper underneath. And I just think that it looks super, super cool. And it's going to look awesome on my desk. So anything that looks cool on my desk is definitely awesome in my books. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the DIYs. And if you did, make sure to let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite and why you're there. Don't forget to let me know what time it is, wherever you're from in the world. I'd love to know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe so you can come back for new videos every single day this week. But until next time, which is tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Bye.